Another feature I would like to explain the Wacom Center based in the area of on-screen shortcuts next to the radio menu are the grid panels and you will find them here in the on-screen shortcuts and compared to the radio menus the grid panels are more in a squared orientation so more like a button box a soft key button box and let's take the um, one of the presets which we made for you in the Wacom Center um, as an example if you prefer to do your own ones you can do them very easily by clicking on the new button. So I click on the app shortcuts for example and what I can see here is a sequence of buttons so eight buttons here and each button is assigned to a certain functionality in most cases a keyboard shortcut. Um, to change that one I simply click on one of these buttons so I use the one here page down which is a shortcut I don't frequently use and I would like to change this one to a new one. So then the actions panel will pop up and gives me already the keystroke as a recommended in the recommended area. I click on keystroke and now the keyboard shortcut window pops up and waits for a certain keyboard command. And yeah, let's take the um, undo command, control Z, which is a frequently used one also in my workflow. And I can give it a label in the name field, calling it undo. I click on apply and now you see that the um, button for page down has changed into undo and it also show me the related keyboard shortcut. What I also can do is here I can change the orientation and the setting of the button box from single row, double row up to a keypad, horizontal and vertical orientation. I would like to stay with the double vertical one and I can also adjust the size and make it a bit bigger here that I can operate it with my finger in this case um, appropriately. So this is step one, but now I need also one of the express keys in, uh, in this specific example as an activator. So I go back to devices, go on the express keys. By the way, I could also use one of my pen buttons if I want, but I will take the express keys here and I will take the upper left express key, which is preset with radio menu, click on here, and I change this one to grid panel app shortcut. And now you see the button is preset to app shortcut. And now if I click on the upper left express key, the app shortcuts panel goes up on the screen and I can use it now either by my finger with multi-touch, you will also see the undo command here, or if I want, I can use the pen as well. If I click on undo here, it would do the keyboard shortcut and it would disappear. So if I don't want to have the app shortcuts grid panel disappear, I can click on the pin and pin the panel on my screen and it stays. So I can use it as a real button box here as well. If I don't want it anymore, I can again re-click on the pin and then it disappears after each keyboard entry or each finger entry as well.